Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel tonight. I have the privilege of reviewing for you the MP36. I'm sorry, that's wrong. Yeah, oh no, that's right. MP36PH-2 in Caltran colors, or the C model. Um, this is a train that was given to me by Dovetail to review. Uh, as you can see here, it's absolutely modeled gorgeously, as all the things that they do are. Um, now it's a little bit pricey, but right now I think it's on sale for $9.99. It might be on sale. Uh, but it's brand new. just came out a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I wanted to do it sooner, but I did not have the San Jose route. I finally... The San Jose route went on sale with the March Madness uh, sale. It is March 5th when I did this review, so um, I was able to pick that up uh, for 40% off. So now I can actually review this engine in its, uh, its entirety, and you can see one's pulling through right now, going backwards. So the way that these work, you run them forwards one direction, and then you have a uh, cab car on the other end that you can run. It's almost like a rapid transit, but it is one of these cars, and it has a control panel. Uh, and I'll show you that too. Well, because actually, even though you're buying a train in this game, you're actually buying the whole set. You're buying the train, you're buying the cars, because these are new cars that come with this uh, scenario or this DLC. And then you actually have that end cab car where you control the train from that end. So we'll do a little bit of train, train on both. We'll run it from both ends uh, so you can see how that works. And, um, so we're going to go ahead and hop aboard this train. We're actually late leaving already, but no big deal, because this is more about sharing this train with you. So so let's go ahead and get up inside the engine here. And Oh, first, before we go, though, let's go ahead and take a look at the passenger car, just the standard passenger car. And uh, we're going to make the whole train freak out. Climb up the steps. And so we have a lower level in this car. Oh, this one's totally empty. And then we have a mid-level. And then we have a top level. And my train's empty because I <laughs> have not opened the doors and everyone's, like, standing out there waiting to get on. But we'll unlock all doors. Um, exit's locked. Not supposed to really be get out, able to get out here. But I'm the engineer, so I can do what I like. I'm stuck. Can't go out this way. And e climb down steps. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I think I found a bug. I'm totally stuck. <laughs> God. So we are back in the cab. It is our way to get this train underway. So first thing we're gonna do is unlock the right doors, because that's where the passengers aren't. Wait. Where are they? Yeah, they're there. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and get the engine set up because we have nothing set up yet. So we need to turn the front marker lights are not on. Gauge lights are on. That's cool. We're going to turn the brightness down to like 40%. Dynamic brake cutout. We don't need that. We do need the engine run on. We need the generator field on, and we need the fuel pump on. So that allows us to control the engine. Uh, the passengers are loaded. We also need to set our valve from cut out to passenger I'm a terrible uh, passenger driver by the way so just be prepared that we're going to probably have accidents and stuff uh, we got to wait till another 30 seconds before we can leave let's take a look out the outside of the engine while we're waiting all the lights are on so we're good there what a gorgeous engine Now, funnily, funnily, did I just say, oh, no, the engine is on. I was going to say, funnily enough, that's not a real word. Uh, there's that train we saw before pulling in, and he's driving via the cab car I told you about. Now we need to lock the doors, and it is time to leave. So the door is locking. They are. There we go. Okay, so we are going to pull the brakes off. And I for totally forgot that we need to put the reverser in. And so this is why we're late, because um, I forgot things. And we're going to put the engine on. And we're moving. It's a good sign, right? Goodbye, San Francisco. I left my heart. I'm stopping. Sorry. <laughs> I'll be back. And here I am moving down the tracks. Let me turn that 
F2? Nope, F3? Nope, F1. There we go. Wanted to turn the uh, interface off for some cool looks. So this train works its way by. Number 268. And isn't that a sight to behold? And with uh, San Francisco in the back. Gorgeous scenery. And we are here going just to spot the spe just about the speed limit here. There's just a lot of cool features on this. I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit so you can hear it better. I realized that I forgot about this too. Hang on. This game tends to sound louder than it does in, in on the recording. Like when I'm playing it, it's like super loud, and then I go back to watch the recording, and I'm like, I can't even hear the train at all. So. so here we are leaving San Francisco, heading towards San Jose. And once again, this is a, this is a cool route. I, once again, I got it today. I haven't run very much of the route yet. Uh, we'll do a separate review of this route uh, eventually. Not super soon. It's not a rush because it's been out for a while, so there are already like good reviews out there, but... I still would like to cover it and play on it a bit on my channel, so. And our speed limit's increased up to 25, so we're going to pick up some speed here. And there comes our engine cruising underneath us as we stand on this bridge. <laughs> And we're going to rock it up to speed we have now. 7.2 miles is our next station. We have a 79 mile an hour speed limit coming up, but right now the speed limit is like 75, so I guess 80 miles an hour is the top speed that we're allowed to go. And it's interesting to me, once again, how comfortable these trains are. I know when I was in uh, England and I was driving on their Azuma, which goes about 80 to 100 miles an hour it's the same thing it's just a really comfortable ride a very smooth quiet refined ride um now i haven't been on the caltrans baby bullet but i'm assuming it's probably the same experience they're just the trains just kind of rock you to sleep it's it's fun to ride trains and relaxing so here we are leaving the city of san francisco already under the mountains I think probably I'm not sure I don't know San Francisco real well I've been there a couple times I think we're kind of by LAX right now not LAX oh my god <laughs> KSFO sorry San Francisco International Airport's like kind of the direction that we're heading uh, and then we'll go towards San Jose uh, but I think I'm not sure with this route if we pass through like if we pass on the outside, like over by Half Moon Bay, or if we're going like down through, uh, what's the name of that area? Uh, it's like Silicon Valley, Sacram not Sacramento. Um, it's been so long since I've been out to California. Um, I can't think of it. Silicon Valley is the best I can come up with right now. <laughs> I don't know where this route runs, but I guess we'll see the city names as we go through. 800 yards, we've got to clear. 1.4 miles, we got it down to 65. Ooh, that's cool, the graffiti. So we'll run to the next station, and then we'll switch around and run back, or run backwards anyway. So you can see the cab car. But, uh, yeah, it's a real nice engine. Like I said, the details are good. I like the way it's uh, weathered a bit. It's got definitely, like, images of things, you know, like... Uh, like where his uh, elbows have been resting on the dashboard, there's some wear and tear, and I like stuff like that. That's, you know, real attention to detail here. Guess I can speed up a little bit here. Bump it up to five. Get some speed built up. And I just realized that that was, I'm over speed. And I have a speed back up here, but I screwed up. Whoops. Okay, well, whatever. I can't help it. 
We'll just keep going at max speed here. I'm a goofball. Cruising along. Bit of a freight waiting. There's one of the engines that comes with that DLC. With the uh, Peninsula Corridor. And we are cruising. Cool stuff, huh? All right, so uh, that gives you an idea of what the engine looks like, what it does. I just want to kind of give you a quick summary here, and we'll go ahead and move on to the back end of the train and run it backwards a little bit so you can see that cab. Uh, but uh, once again, you're not really just buying the engine. You're buying the whole baby bullet train. So I want to just get that across. All right, so we are in the cab heading the other way. Uh, load passengers. All right, we're running behind. I actually got a phone call and ended up not paying attention, so we're behind schedule now. But uh, we're going to turn the cutoff valve in, and we'll leave the brake on other way, service. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put our reverser in, Head it f uh, leave it in neutral. We need to turn on the fuel pump. I'm sorry, we need to go the other way. Think. I don't know if it matters or not, but we sh it should. Engine on. Generator shield on. Uh, headlights. Bright and auxiliary. Uh, high, low, off, cab heat. Nope, we don't need the console light on. Right? Because that's our... What is that? These are like dead gauges. I don't know why the track computers don't work. I kind of don't like those. I'm not super happy that they don't have working computers, but they don't. It's one of those things. Okay. Santa Clara. So we're going to go ahead and put the throttle for or the reverser forward. I think we have everything in place to get this train moving, but I'm not sure, but we'll try it. Here we go. It's looking promising. So throttle in. Will it go? Will it run? It's not looking good. <laughs> Got that out. Oh, yeah. Really, really good idea to release the brakes. <laughs> Almost everything, right? Well, I'm not a train engineer, so don't blame me. We'll blow the horn and hopes that the train will start moving forward in a minute or two. But so far, nothing. This happens to me quite frequently in this game. Unless you know the exact startup procedure. Hang on. Okay, I think I figured it out. There's this engine run button that needs to be pressed. I think that might be why we were not able to do it. Looks like we might be... Oh, we're moving! Yay! So we're pulling out of the yard. Looks like I might have too much light on. I don't know. And we will go to the outside camera so you get an idea of what it looks like. It's like a trolley. Ding dong, ding dong. Uh, so that's... I, my bright lights are on too bright. I probably could put them on dim. I think it's too bright for the daytime, but... And so the engine is actually pushing from the back. You can see the engine back there. And so it's pushing the train backwards. It's a little bit of a weird setup. Like, I don't... To me, it seems entirely unsafe to have an engine putting all its horsepower into the train from the back. But, <laughs> like, you're just asking to derail. But I guess it works, so... Who am I? <laughs> I'm definitely not an engineer, and I'm definitely not a train guy. So I love trains, but it doesn't mean I know a lot about how they operate. So... Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this review, and we'll take a look at the products as they come out. But I think that this is a, uh, a pretty good um, 
DLC, and I think for the money you get a lot. You know, usually the train they give you one engine for, you know, twenty bucks. But in this one, you actually get an engine and a reverse car, and you also get the the train cars that go in between. So it's a pretty good deal for what you're at. You know, what you're paying for. Uh, personally, I would wait till it's on sale, and that's just how I am. I'm a cheapo, so I always like to get things half off or better. So I'm sure uh, being new, it won't go off. Half, uh, won't go half off for a while, but it will go half off eventually. Here you can see here, here the engine running. So our number 261 is running here. So that is the MP36PH-C, or dash 3C, dash 3C, I think, yeah. Uh, baby bullet train. Uh, once again, thank you for Dovetail Games for giving me a chance to take a look at this and review it. And um, I definitely look forward to doing some more reviews and, and uh, going through different routes and trains as they come out. So uh, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, voice help, and we will see you next time. Bye.